I'm a bit late, but never mind, better later than never. Okay then, right later when I show what I was doing. <laughs> Very exciting. Okay then, now just go through some mobility exercises. As I said, it's much less intense this time. I just really want to move around all part of the body this time. So everything get that using the full range of movements and go through from, let's go from top to the bottom. So what is on the top? Yeah, your head. So very carefully to start leaning side to side. Make sure you don't shrug your shoulders, just keep it loose and just take it side to side. If you feel a little tension, that's all right. I try to keep it loose and not force it into any movement. Okay, just a few times. You choose your speed, how it's feel, if it's feeling pulling, slow down, or you can do a bit more speed with less range of movement, make sure not to be busy. Okay, the next one, looking to the right and looking to the left. Don't think on the movement, just think, oh, I want to look at that, what is here and what is there. So you don't think on it, just gentle look. Really just thinking, oh, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look this time. But if you start thinking on too much, it became unnatural movement and we don't want that. And even if you follow the movement with your looking with your eyes, just watch look that side and the other. Okay. Now back to the front. The same. Looking down to the ground and up to the ceiling. Actually, when you look down, you really want to look at your top of your chest because if you look at the ground, your uh, chin is going forward, especially if you've got some tummy <laughs> in the way. So you really want to look down here and up to the ceiling. You put your hands in there. You really want to your chin to tug in if you're asking the number how many times let's do a 10 at least or between 10 and 20 that's good enough okay back to the front Next one, now tilt your head and from one shoulder to another, just throw your head around and try to drop your head and just slowly roll from one side to another. Try to keep, not to shrug your shoulder, keep it relaxed. And a half circle on the front. It even can be a morning routine, getting up, standing next to your bed, and going through a few times of this movement. This will be a better start of the day. Okay, now, same on the back, from shoulder to the shoulder on the back, rolling your head. 
if you have a stiff neck or body, it can be a bit painful just there. Like mine, I've managed to do that fully. So just really care. Okay, let's come up on the front. Now we've gone through the head or direction. Next one is the shoulder. There's lots of things what you can do with the shoulder. Let's start with small movement. Now we what we avoided now we're doing. So shrug it and back down. Shrug and down. Okay, now alternating side, one side and the other. While you're doing that, one side is coming up and try to relax the other side. I know there's lots of things going on at the same time. Okay, now next one. Actually, I turning to the side so you can see just coming like a rounded shoulder then after opening pull it back and chest out the same you can do with the arms open and close but now you just do with your shoulder really concentrating on the shoulder movement pull it back and run. Put it back and run. Yeah, when you put it back, your head coming down. When you, I mean, when you're rounding in the front, sorry. And when you pull it back, you lift your head up so let your chest open. And now we get the arms and the shoulders. Pull it 
upper part and back and you can adjust it how strong or you can do one side at a time and the other side or there's another form if you got a lightweight even a can or bottles and just rotate out and in really keep your elbow tucked in try to keep your hands in level and just rotate out okay let's go into the next one we haven't done it let's go just circle one arm circle full range of movement in use nice arm circles going to the front you can do nice big one even a little core rotation okay and backwards lots of things what you can do with your shoulder Okay, next one, other side, going to the front. And backwards. So doing single one, so you can concentrate on one side at a time really listening to your body and following your feelings if it's tight take it back not doing that big circle if you got frozen shoulder you can't take your arm back you do as much as you can more times you do you improve it more and slowly gradually build it up and going that way Okay, if you can do now we done one side and the other and now doing together and to the front thinking of to have a bigger range of movement what you can do okay then now you might start feeling your shoulder up there next movement we had a rotation like that and now we're lifting arm up like that may keep it in angle and from here just going down horizontally up and down try to keep that angle there's another rotation when you do that you can use also light weight and move slowly okay so that's that next one one up others done and just opposite rotation but try to maintain that that level with the elbow is keeping the same so don't drop it down it's still working if you can't lift your elbow up high 
but as I said, you keep pushing what you can do, and if you're constantly doing it, you gradually start improving. Even if you get your shoulders done, try to keep the elbow in one level and do a rotation like that. So keep the upper arm still. Okay then, that was good. Of course you can lift up on the front, on the side. What I like to do with that one, just a little bit in there. So, have a swing on the side and cross your hands up and down. And it's still working on the shoulder, amazing how many exercises you can do. And one more. Okay, the next one, just get holding your feet out of the way and up and down. most of the thing with the shoulder what we can do we do one more just pull the elbow back and push out the front when you push it out from your back and come in also try to keep your arms up so not down it's another version when you keep it done. Obviously, it's nothing wrong, it's just different. So, when you keep it done, it's stretching more this side. If you keep it that way, it's more coming across the chest. And as you're pushing your arm front and rounding your back, it's stretching your back. Okay then, now let your chest, back, shoulder, neck, we went through, we still got the arms, so we can do curl ups, when you do curl ups, make sure keeping upper arm still, elbow tucked in, and keep your wrist straight, so don't bend it, but when you do mobility exercise you can do that bend like a snail pose roll it right in and back all the way back and coming so in the same time working on the wrist Good. Now, sit your elbow on your palm and just go in a circle. It can be in a fist if your thumb is in a way. And just have a circle round. Then after change direction, And change side. Doesn't matter which side you're starting or which direction you're going through, both direction on both arms. Other way around. Okay, so you can do that way. Find your own way which you find is comfortable. Okay, good. Now, you can do both together. You've got a little movement of, from that rotation as well. 
another way around. Okay, and you can do cross it this way. Out, out, cross. That's it. Give a good shake. Okay, now shake your hands. Now sort of that way. Just keep shaking it. It's good for circulation as well. And if you have better circulation, more oxygen can go to the muscles. So they work, work more effectively. Okay, now from up and down. We can do it together or alternating. Have a little fun. And after you can go around one way. Other way round. Okay, then uh, uh, arm out, arm down. Message. Okay, and the same one, turning round, palm facing down, and just here you push a little bit back. Okay, give a shake. Other side. Yeah, I might be thinking that's my video exercise. Almost. <laughs> but it doesn't hurt anybody doing that, is not it? And the other side. And the shake. There's one more exercise, what you can do. Just put arms together. Pushing it down, keep it close to you. Pushing, go back and down. Okay, and from here, just turn it down and push it up and back. Up. And down and shake. Shake it while it feels loosen up back. Okay then, so next one here, waist. First of all, we keep straight and just leaning side to side. So we do that for a bit. So make sure you don't lean forward, not yet. Okay. Now, keeping shoulders still and hip side to side. So with a different approach, moving that hip round. Then from here, let's say that side, to the side, then on the front to the other side. That's the half round. So push it out to the side, and from here, half circle to the other side. Okay, now let's go in back. All the way round, nice big circle. So it's not like that. Keeping your legs straight and making a big circle with your hip. And change direction. Okay, next one, leaning to the front, pushing your hip back and keeping your back straight this time. So not, not this, 
Lift your chest up, shoulders back. Push your hip back. And just lean into the front and back. A nice hip pain. Or sometimes people call that good morning. Make sure to keep your chest lifted. Do not let your shoulder run. Keep it up. And just lean back and forward. Maybe you can go back. Keep maintaining your shoulder, pulling it back. So you lean forward with straight back as further as you can do. All right. Now, next one, when you round your back. So this time, round your back. So just breathe down with rounding your back. So now you can see the difference with this one, even with arms down, or this one. Try to make difference between that two. Okay, good. So we going down hip. There is one more. Feet wide apart. Reach down in the middle. It can be rounded back, and from here, just wiggle your hip. You can see. I don't know how you call when you got a dog and very happy and just got their bottom just wiggle side to side. Even if you can't reach down, you can come up and you don't have to be just keep wiggle your hip side to side. Leaning forward. Up those. The same thing you can do when you go down on your four and actually just wiggle your hip side to side. Okay, then. Now, let's see. Keeping down. Okay, so we gone down to the hip. We touch part of it, but we haven't done entirely. We got one big thing in all the way down here. Yeah, that's our spine. So the best thing to get moved to move each direction. We were leaning forward, backward, sideways. And now we do rotation. First one, I want your hips still, so it's not moving, just the upper body. So making your shoulder back and forward, just to show it, if you've got a stick, you can put it there. And just rotate. Try to keep your hips steady. It's just because you're looking at the line, how I'm moving that rotation. The next one, keep your arm out and now just your hip. So as you see, my shoulder not moving that way, just my hip rotating so you have
have that rotation in the spine. I put that down, it just was a demonstration. And the next one, now move both. So move the front and the, I mean the up and the lower part, twisting. It's like a twist, come on, twist the knee. Okay then. Now, who give a good <laughs> wiggle, wiggle everywhere. So now, that's the wiggle is a good one because you move everywhere, very loose. So let's go down knee. So first of all, we start to let curves. Kickbacks. Okay, and when you can stand, just curl back. Okay. Down the other side. The same like with the arms, keep the upper part of the leg still. Okay, now, what we miss out is the leg swing that I really like to do. So one part stretching your leg, other part also have your hip moving each direction. Okay, now from the side and across, out to the side and across. When you lift your leg up on the side, make sure your toes looking to the front and that way. If you turn it, it's a different movement. So even if you with pointed full uh, toes to the front, we can't lift only that high. You do that way and across. Like the other one, this can improve with the consistent work. Okay, now lift the knees up, rotate out, and nice big circle. Even when you come on the front. You can bring your knee across and circle all the way around, rotate. Okay, now, how we do the same backwards. So now lift your foot up and from back bring it back to the front okay the same thing you can do with straight leg just up on the front and a big circle as big as you can from front to the back and the same from back to the front mind your furniture from you Okay, one side is done. Oh, so many things. Let's see how we done. Swing, just back and forward. Then next one, up on the side. Toes pointing to the front, then coming across. Try to keep your leg straight, but keep your knees soft. Just a few times. Then the next one. Knee up in a rotation from front to the back. Don't forget, you always 
always work with your own range of movement. So if you can bring your leg up that high, you just do as much as you can. And from back, like sort of back movement. Covering. Okay, retreat leg from the front to the back. If you do that, it's always good to have a support, hold on something, or just lean against the wall, and you don't need to bother with your balance. So you can do that exercise a bit. Braver and from the back to the front. Oh, right. Okay, back to the knees. So, what I really like lift the leg on knee and do the circles. Actually, your knee is supposed to do that way, moving, but sometimes in life, especially if you have this, that sort of movement, so your knee from that one way going out this way. So, that's why if you just do that little movement, Change direction in the meantime. So with your foot, just going into circles. Then change side. So if you jump to moving the way, which is not really normal to your everyday movement, it helps you to prepare to the unexpected. quite fashionable expression that functional exercise so actually that is for to prepare you to the movement that you function normally because even some movement would be normal but you got stay for not that flexible and if all of the sudden you have to rotate oh, and your back is done but if you do that in exercise and you have to do, go home, get your shopping and you do that, it won't be that sudden because your body gets used to it. So that's why it's good to work functionally as well. That you make, that you function all right. Okay, knees. Feet together, close, then Sit down in like a squat and circle your knees around. Neck also unusual movement. Each direction a couple of circles and keep changing. And now straight and sit into squat. When you do that, keep your back straight. And come up straight. What I really like with the knee, when you can sit down somewhere and just like the children, have your feet up. So choose a chair when you can have your feet up and just <laughs> go hide there. That's really good. Or even you can go on a chair or on the ground and just have your leg with a little fun. Keep it moving. Okay. And 
and now also keep that position one knee up other leg straight but keep it in the air like it's coming even if you can lean against your sofa and pull it up and back and the other side if you need you can slide your heel on the ground okay i'm coming on actually when you're standing you can do the same thing so because you're standing on one foot so you can do it both three together so do one side a fairly quick movement and the other side then after knee up and pull your put your feet down this time standing straight don't need to lean backwards because we're not targeting the abs just the legs movement other side oh why then oh we're getting there so next one we're moving down ankles okay so I would say circle like that, but if you on bare feet is not so good. So what I'm doing, yeah, on my carpet I like to be barefoot, but it's not always suitable for all exercises. So I have my shoes on this time for that exercise and. Stand him on one foot, the other on a toe, and just round your ankle so you don't, how you call that, smashing your, not smashing, crushing your toes. Anyway, if you have a shoe on, that rounding is safe for your toes, that's the point. And just get that rotation each direction. And lots of people saying, even if you're at home, you better have your shoes to the exercise, but I don't have to agree with everything. Okay, other side, same thing. Working on the ankle now. Good rotation, especially if you tend to have swollen ankles, it's really good to do some ankle exercises to get the circulation right. And actually, if your circulation better, as I mentioned earlier, more oxygen can uh, go to the muscles. And in the farthest part, like the feet, and the more oxygen you can get into the tissues, the better you can work. I mean, functioning like a, in your body. Okay, next one. We went round both sides each direction. Now we just lift the leg up and just pointing down and out. If you don't mind, I take the shoes off now because I really like to be back with So up and down. Even when you sit down, laying down on your bed, sofa, whatever, you do that circle one direction, the other, pointing up and down really helping the circulation especially if you can put your feet up so when you lay down or sit down and you can put your feet up higher than your heart level 
that's really give a good release to the legs. Sometimes when people are doing sitting job or standing and their feet all day down uh, long, just hanging down actually, <coughs> they have very bad circulation in legs and they can have restless legs or they can get pins and needles in a calf or cramps. These exercises good. Again, okay, now I'm just showing. So if you lay down and you have your feet up on a cushion, whatever, and you do those exercises, so as you can see, my feet level is higher than my heart. So each day, 10, 20 minutes, putting your feet up like that, is really helping in the circulation. Also, it can help if you have cold feet, because it's all relating together with the circulation. If you have your feet up and do some movements, it can uh, regulate your circulation better. So it's not a professional medical advice, it's just uh, according my experience, because I'm working like a carer, as most of you know, so we got these things and it's sometimes supporting the healthier life in any age, not just older ones. Okay then, so what we covered today? We went through neck movement all the way around, lots of movement with the shoulders, little chest stretch and back, upper back, then after we done rotation, with the spine leaning forward and backwards as well. We done with elbows and wrists shaking and turning every direction. We went through the hips also moving and wiggling. We went through the legs just all direction. Also keeping with the hip full range of movement. Then we go through with uh, knees and we done some ankles. Also there's one more with the ankle when you keep your front knee bent and step back. But keep your feet down so not lifting the heel up and you can push your knee forward. It's like a calf stretch. So both feet pointing to the front, front leg straight now the back leg right the front is bent and pushing backwards and forwards so it's helping a little ankle mobility and the stretch on the back of your leg if you can have a bigger split push it forward and back If you can't put your feet down, keep it on the toe and just roll down and back. That's also a good one. Rolling, rocking on the back foot, coming up on the toes and going back to the heel. Keep the front leg bent, so let it move. And the other side. So. First, if you can, keep your foot, the whole foot down on the ground and just push the front one back and forward. So having a calf stretch in the meantime. Then after, take a bigger split, well, split. and coming up on the toe, on the back foot, just the rocking. I don't say you do that every day because it's quite a time consuming but if you could do once a week go through all the body parts it makes you good try 
to do different movements throughout the week. You know, one day, like, go some mobility exercise, stretching. Another time, just uh, some cardio, increasing your heart rate and keep it up for a certain time. So get your heart and uh, lung working a bit more. Then go through some strength training or go for a walk, go for a cycle or just do some core exercise. So make it vary. And by the time you go through the week, you work through all of the body parts in different approach and you're keeping your heart up, so which is good. So one more thing what I like to do, the shake. So when you have step in the mud and really you just want to shake that mud off from your foot and the other side. Even if you have a hard workout on the legs and when you have a good shake, I don't know, it's feeling good. <laughs> also you can do different really and the arms with shake and that's it so that was our second exercise today but nobody hold you back to do that anytime so just go for it hopefully next week at some point might somewhere probably outside we'll see I will confirm we will meet outside and take care keep up on a few days and second lockdown is over so keep safe guys and take care